Alright, so there have been a lot of questions about the performance of the iPhone 6s Plus. So here we have the Samsung and the TSMC variations. We're going to run some Geekbench. Alright, so the Samsung is going to be the one on the left and the TSMC is going to be on the right. So now I'm going to run the battery test and I'm going to run some benchmarks on the unit using a couple other applications. So after running the Antutu benchmark, the TSMC processor was higher ranked in this benchmark than the Samsung. So next one we're running the 3D mark. So after running the 3D mark, the Samsung has a higher score than the TSMC processor, but both devices perform pretty well.
Now I'm going to run the performance test mobile. After running this test, we can see that the TSMC processor did have some better scores. Next test I want to run the speed test, they're both connected on the same Wi-Fi, I just want to see if there's a variation. Now I did get faster download and upload speed on the A9 with the Samsung processor. Now after running all of these tests I'm going to go back to Geekbench to check the battery percentage. We started at 64 so there's a 2% difference after running all these tests. The Samsung is at 56% and the TSMC is at 58%. Geekbench does give both of the devices a 127 battery score. I'm gonna run on 22 benchmark again just to see if there's a difference.
Alright, so after running the test, the application force closed automatically, so we're going to go ahead and relaunch them, and we get the scores, which is higher on the TSMC processor. So after running that test, I'm going to run a Geekbench test again, just to see if there's a difference after running all of the previous tests. Alright, so the Samsung A9 has performed better in the Geekbench than the TSMC even after running all the previous tests. So now I'm going to go ahead and close out all of the applications and I'm going to run Geekbench again. So after running the final Geekbench test, the Samsung A9 does score higher than the TSMC. Now both of the devices were rebooted prior to running the test. They were connected to the same Wi-Fi and in airplane mode. So after running all of these tests, the Samsung device did run a little bit warmer than the TSMC, but nothing that's too noticeable. So I've been using both of these iPhones for the last two weeks, and for day-to-day -day use, the battery has been on par with each other, and so has the performance. Running normal applications, there was not variations where it's actually noticeable. So if you have either the Samsung or the TSMC processor, you should be fine, because you still have the fastest device on the market.